18 million pounds of European funding to build a peace and reconciliation centre at the former Mays prison site has been withdrawn. It's after the DUP halted plans to build the facility, leading to further damage in relations with Sinn Féin. The money could still be spent, but the race is now on to find another viable project, as Mark Mallett reports. It was years in the planning, and with EU funding secured, it seemed the peace building and conflict resolution centre was on course to become a reality. But all that changed with a letter from the DUP leader in August. His party executed a U-turn in their support, citing victims' fears about the project. But the change of mind followed weeks of violence in the streets over loyal order parades and flag protests. Unionists also accused senior Sinn Féin member Jerry Kelly of celebrating terrorism at a Republican commemoration in August. Tensions between the two parties hit a new low. And while the offer of EU funding for the Mays prison site has been removed, the Deputy First Minister insists the Mays project has not been shelved. Very strenuous efforts will be made over the course of the coming period to bring people to their senses and to recognise that we cannot kowtow to those violent elements on the streets who are at the heart of overturning this project. I have stood four square against those on the so-called Republican side who wish to uh, bring the institutions down and disrupt the work of government. Others have to do the same. Today's development underlines the fact that there will be no immediate development at the Mays prison site behind me. But it feeds into the concerns about the political situation here and the lack of agreement on a number of key issues. The difficulty for the EU is going to be finding enough projects that are, if you like, shovel ready to replace this one, with the money only available until the end of 2015. The DUP's Nigel Dodd says he's not surprised at the withdrawal of European support, but insists all is not lost. It mustn't be forgotten in all of this uh, situation, there isn't a consensus about the, uh, the division centres has now become rather than a peace centre at the maze. So what we're talking about is this particular piece of money, let's now look, sit down together and see how that money can be spent by the end of 2015 so it's not lost to Northern Ireland. And I'm pretty sure that people with goodwill can make that happen. So while the race is now on to find new projects that could benefit from European funding, perhaps the more pressing issue is to find accord between the political parties at Stormont. Mark Mallet, GTV Live, at the Mayor's prison site.